this is the set from uh, 1959. It started off in uh, in Burnley in Lancashire uh, when I was about seven, and uh, lots of things were watched on this set, including in the late 60s the moon landings and all sorts of other exciting things. Um, and uh, it's now being preserved at the Vintage Wireless Museum here um, in South London. Um, I'm just going to switch channels if I can to show that we have two pictures. Uh, oops, so that one's gone off now. Channel two. Oh, so it's not two, so I keep forgetting it's not two, it's one. Uh, there we are, that's, uh, that's been converted from a modern signal. So. <laughs> and then up here there are lots of other, well down here there are lots of other 405 line sets and some modern 625 line ones up here, all analog of course. Uh, what I'm interested in is what this says here, Echo 17 inch, oh it's not a 90, 12 channel 405 from August, 62 pounds plus purchase tax. This is a nice big set. Look at the size of the tube on this one. I wonder how big that is. 21 inch. About the biggest you could get in those days, I should think. Oh, a very dim picture on there. That was actually a picture. Well, a very faint picture along that one there with a with a magnifying glass in front of it. Oh right. Yeah. This is a Mullard valve book telling you all, all the statistics of various valves. Mm -hmm. Anyway, if there's no sound then you're on I suppose that doesn't really matter, it's just a shame the sound not working. Um, what you going to do with the clean tire? That's right, the main switch was at the top. Oh, yeah, there it is. Good news, that's the channel. Hey, man, you can just pick it up. Someone needs to disconnect the speaker or something. Right, so before you say that, is there any sound going down the system? I don't know, I haven't been there for a minute. Tommy, before you go. See, two and nine were next to each other, unfortunately one and nine aren't. I think they are actually, I think you'll find that it's one, nine, two, ten. One, oh yes, sorry, nines. One, oh sorry, so it is. Well, I can't get a picture on nine. For some reason. Maybe the oscillator's slightly off. Yeah. Okay. Well, actually, I'll tell you what might get it there if I tweak the... Tweak that. Ah, that's it. It's the fine tuning he's adjusting to get it. And there's no sound there at the moment. Uh, hang on. There's no tone, no. If you're pushing out tone, it's yes, not there. Yes, it's not there. there. Okay, you've lost sound. I've lost sound. Yes, there's no strobing with that. That's Yes, it doesn't look too precious. Uh, well, there, there you I'll just switch this one back to another picture. Oops. One. So that is what, in a sense, that is, how can I explain, that's one line, no actually maybe it's one frame of picture, uh -huh. so you've got your, I'm not sure I can remember this myself, I think that's the colour information at the front, then you get the luminance information there, then you get the frame sync pulse, 
and then you get another frame. So, uh, so two feet. So it would be two feet. Uh -huh. One frame, two fields. Right. So sometimes you have to look at this to see how. I mean, I have to maybe. Oh, sort it of something's better. rotating. Well, it's that, that's the picture. Information is, is moving, isn't it? Yes. So something's moving. Um, uh, I wonder if it's I, if you just, just switch. No, no. I think it's no. It's, it's, it's right. related to the movement on the picture. Oh right. Oh, is it the globe? Oh, maybe it's the globe. Sorry, maybe it's that we're looking at. Yes. The globe. Ah, oh, it is. You're quite right. It's the globe. <laughs> yes. So the colour burst. The information. So the first part of the picture is actually blank. It's all black. Then you get the globe itself, and then you get another black bit at the end. This is very little information on the extreme left and right, which that kind of fits with, I suppose. Mm -hmm. Sync pulse, a negative sync pulse, which tells it to start again. Um, we don't have a vector scope, but... Um, mm -hmm. Right. OK. Uh, right. Yes, I was getting... Well, sometimes something rotating is to do with the phase difference. Something's out of phase, but this is different. This is a, a rotating globe. But uh, wirelesses and, and old televisions. Um, the one down there looks very, very similar. So there used to be a door through there to upstairs. Maybe that's it. They've lost the, they've lost the upstairs bit. Looks like they've just arrived at lunchtime. Don't know where the dinatron is. Not here at the moment. Uh, interesting. Uh, AXBT, although I'm not sure. It looks a bit different on the inside. Crystal receiver. Interesting to put your head in here. Interesting to put your head in here and talk. Must listen to that. A, oh, I see. The a turntable is there. The pickup is there, and it goes through. An enormous. I wonder what that sounds like. Mm. Let's have that demonstrated. Lots more radios up there. So there's a set down there that looks very similar to the Dynatron, but without uh, without any doors on the front. Is it an Echo? No, it's a Marconi. Right. An interesting set of bulbs. I don't quite know what they're what they're for. Television cleaning cloth. The mirror face is extremely sensitive. Yes, so they used to reflect the picture off a mirror, so you actually sat and watched it like that. Ah, so maybe it's actually it might be on this side. it might be silvered on the wrong side. Yeah. Image. Ah, that's true, yes. Radiograms, oh, which I have, yes. Right. It's very, it's very old mm. and it's serious historic interest. Mm. It's strange, yes. doesn't care monkeys about it. Well, this is what the other guy was saying down, down the end. Yes, I mean, they're interested in more, in more sort of, yes. I mean, I, again, a particular radio that would interest me would be a 1946 McMichael, <laughs> which my parents had. It had a fuel coil for the tram. I gather you've got a model down there. Yes, we may have well have done. Yeah. Um, but these are probably a bit older. These are older than that. Yes, yes, I know. Except for those two. Two, because they're...